All right, everybody, uh, welcome back to Dan of All Trades here. Um, I'm in the middle of this project here, and I thought I'd make a quick little video, show you what I'm doing. Um, I'm working on a 6.0 engine, a Ford 2005 Super Duty, um, and this, this uh, vehicle would not start once it warmed up. So you start it up cold, runs good. Once it gets hot, you shut it down, and it wouldn't restart. So I diagnosed that it had a high pressure oil leak. Um, and to find that, I'm gonna show you what I did. Um, we had our adapter hooked up here to our, um, this is where the ICP sensor goes. Valve covers on there and stuff. Uh, ICP is sticking out right here. You unscrew that. Um, you gotta get the little adapter, screw that adapter in. And then it's going to go over here to your shop air. Now, this thing was all, all assembled, and you got this air line hooked up. You put air to the system, turn it on, and you can hear, hear that air leaking. When this thing is all assembled, you can hear air leaking, but you don't know where it's coming from. 90% of the time, it's back here on this... Uh, high pressure pump fitting. Let's see if you can see. A little bit of bubbles coming out right there. Little oil bubbles. Now this is just shop air. This is like 90 PSI, 120 maybe, and it's leaking right there. This pump is gonna put out at least 600 PSI oil pressure at startup. If you're leaking at shop air 90 PSI, you for sure are gonna have a leak at 600 when this thing's trying to start hot. See that? So we are going to remove that pump and I'm gonna replace that fitting. This has the older style fitting on it. There's been some updates on it. So if you got an older truck that's never been apart, most likely it has this old fitting on there. Will leak at one time. And you're gonna have to disassemble all this, get down there to that pump and uh, install that updated fitting on there. Okay, here's the pump out on the bench. Here's our old fitting. See that junk looks like a kind of like a quick fit. All sloppy in there. Here's the new updated one. All one piece, O-ring on the end. Um, so get that out and install the new fitting. Reinstall the pump with all new O-rings and everything. And then we'll do our air tests again. Okay, we got our uh, pump reinstalled and we got our new fitting on here. The new updated fitting back there. And you gotta remove the pump to put that new fitting in there. Um, and now we're gonna do our air test again and check for leaks. Um, you have to put back in your IPR valve and then you need to hook it up to power to uh, 12 volt power. You need some kind of jumper harness on there. And uh, when you apply shop air, you're gonna hook these wires up to battery, positive and negative, apply 12 volts to the solenoid. And um, then you're gonna listen for air leaks. You're gonna have a little, you're gonna hear something back behind the pump here. That's just the drain from the pump. You'll hear a little bit of escape in there, but you shouldn't have anything bubbling up there like you did before or any other leaks so let's go ahead and try it okay turn on the shop air okay and you can hear you can hear air leaking right now that's because we don't have our solenoid engaged now listen when we engage that solenoid you'll hear that air com almost completely shut off See that? I can hear a little bit from the back of that pump, but that's the pump drain, so that's normal. But we don't have any leakage out of our fitting that we just replaced, or, or, or hear any other air leaks. Now listen when I release the solenoid. So just remember when you do this test, you hook air to it, 
in your adapter fitting over here where the valve cover is your icp sensor you can have that adapter in there you're gonna hook shop air to it and you will hear air leak out unless you energize this solenoid because that solenoid is going to shut off the path for the air to bleed off so you need that energized to be able to properly diagnose the high pressure oil system so okay everybody that was a short little video there um but had a lot of good information in there i just wanted to show you the proper way to check your high pressure oil pump system for leaks um and like always don't forget to like and subscribe and we'll see you next time thanks for watching